You're looking at some big bluefin tuna coming over the rail of the Thunderbird out of Davies Locker in Newport Beach, California. Captain Jeff Marklin said it was challenging to get a bite and even more challenging to hang on to these big, beautiful fish. There was also some nighttime bluefin and some nighttime big yellows biting. Great times and exciting fishing in SoCal. Hey, we're here. Sam. We're trying. Bob trying. Gibbard. Me too. I'm trying to get a bite here tonight for you guys. And Sam and Bob and I have no fish so far. De La Torre takes the lead <laughs> because nobody else can catch anything. <laughs> Sam! Learn how to snag them. Nice one, man. What can I say? That's a beauty. Chef Jason's here. What do you say about that, Chef Hey, man, Jason? that's cool on the little slow pitch jig. You know, <laughs> hey, man, you should have kept it. I could have fried it up. Uh Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, here in Southern California, sandwiched between Seal Beach and Huntington Beach. You cannot walk out on this beach or many other beaches in SoCal or around the world if you are experiencing the kind of weather ambience of the Eastern Pacific. You can't help but feel blessed. It is a gorgeous morning here on Wednesday morning here in SoCal and it's so good to be with you all. We have got a lot here on the morning briefing. A biomass of tuna that many of the guys on the boats, the captains and crews are telling me they haven't seen this much bluefin tuna in their lives. It is really piling up, setting up for a magnificent finish to summer and an outstanding fall bite. This is going to be one for the record books, I'm telling you. And then you add the El Nino that is starting to impinge in on us here in northern Baja California and southern California. And the warm water species that's going to bring, it's going to be really fascinating to see what happens. So we've got that going on. Of course, we've got some good local fishing in southern California. Bass, barracuda. Nice to see some sand bass back in the mix. And when I talk about that big biomass of bluefin tuna, that is just one area I'm talking about. There are literally bluefin tuna from below the Mexican border all the way up to San Francisco. The Channel Islands are getting in on it now. 805 bluefin tuna are a reality. And man, there is so much more to talk about. You know what time it is. Good morning, my friends, and welcome to the morning briefing. Nothing better than coffee. This warm sun, it's a gorgeous morning, and I hope you are all doing really, really well. Send our thoughts and prayers out to Eddie Leland. Eddie continues his battle with cancer. I go over and visit Eddie. I never hear him complain. Never, ever hear him complain. And then I'm with some other guys who, you know, their electric windows are not going up properly on their car, and they're complaining all day long. Gratitude is such an important part of staying sane. And, you know, I need to remind myself, of that from time to time also but you look at Eddie and the trials and tribulations he's going through and he's not complaining he's grateful and man I'll tell you that means a lot to me all right my friends hit that like button sorry about that went off on a diatribe <laughs> hit that like button make sure you share these videos with a friend subscribe to the channel almost 10,000 now and also remember that we're on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. You can follow us during the daytime when we constantly keep you updated on everything that is going on. We have a trip on August the 15th. It is on the horizon out of San Diego. That's going to be a great one. I think there's a few spots left. It's a day and a half trip. I think it's 535 bucks. And uh, as I say, I will be there shooting video. Sam De La Torre from Island Fishing Tackle in Carson. Maybe. He won't commit. You saw him last night on Tackle Shop Confessions. That was a live show we did last night from Island Fishing Tackle. Go back and watch it. It was truly a lot of fun. And then you also saw in the lead, and besides those big yellows and blue fit on the Thunderbird, you also saw Sam and I and my friend Bob Gifford trying to catch a fish last night. Sam was the one who conquered it all with that magnificent catch that you were all privy to see. So once again, Sam may be on this trip. And, of course, so many of our regular folks will be on this great trip. August the 15th, day and a half trip, H&M Landing, San Diego. Call H&M Landing. Tell them you want on the Friedman Adventures trip on August the 15th. They'll help you out. 619-222-1144. Have any trouble booking? Send Bill Wilkerson a message. Let him know you had some trouble and you want on that trip. 619-985-5179. 
9. So great to be back with you all. Wow, I'll tell you, on this gorgeous day when that ocean is so flat and calm, it's a perfect time to be doing some surf fishing. But we'll start you out south of the border. Talk Ensenada. There's more yellowfin in there. There's been a few dorado poking their noses in there. And we continue to have hit and miss fishing on the bluefin tuna. Good fishing at times. Most of the boys down there are trolling Mad Mac type lures. Also uh, effective if you can get some bait, of course, is sinker fishing. But there's a lot of fish up crashing here this morning. We've already talked to a few of my Pongaro guys, and they are seeing more and more fish flush in there. Now, the fallback has been some really good barracuda fishing, which is a welcome sight. There's some local yellowtail around Todo Santo, some Punta Banda, University Points got barracuda on it. Really great calico bass fishing, as Louis Prieto told us the other day from It's For Reels Sport Fishing out of Ensenada. Louis, an American who lo relocated down to Ensenada, having the time of his life, also has a bar in Ensenada you should go by because they talk fishing and they have great hors d'oeuvres at the tequilas bar in Ensenada but anyway he was saying the calico bass bite down there has been phenomenal and if all else fails lingcod and rockfish and all of that razzmatazz going on down there in a beautiful part of our world Ensenada Baja California Norte I absolutely love the times I get to spend down there. In fact, I'm working the Orange County Fair again tonight, so I'm getting like three hours sleep a night here in August for the rest of, well, until about midway. And man, I'm going to find some opportunity to go south of the border. Incidentally, once again, all our thanks to you for making our giveaway at Isla Cedro, Cedros Island. So spectacular, giving away clothing and so much more. It has been really a magnificent magnificent venture writing it all with you because you guys all made that happen with your donation and kindness and generosity as we reach our hands across the border to our brothers and sisters in Mexico and I can't thank you enough for that. All right let's go to San Diego and let's talk some really excellent fishing. Now yes I have to make it clear there are misses all the time and Sometimes I don't point out the misses. I don't want to point out a guy that had a bad trip. I mean, that happens from time to time. Suffice it to say, there are misses. Some guys that just didn't get them. But there's way more good fishing going on out of SD right now. It is good. And I don't care if you're on a day and a half trip, a day trip, or a full day trip. A trip that leaves in the morning and comes back in the afternoon. They're all producing pretty darn well. Let's go through a few of them with you. The Aztec Tribute, Pacific Queen, Islander Fortune limits of blue fan tuna for all those boys some of my multi-day trips most of them were but it is really really good fishing right now you can hardly beat what's going on fortune limits of blue fan tuna liberty 40 guys trip that leaves in the morning comes back that evening 29 or pardon me 40 guys 29 blue fin tuna and a yellow fin tuna to go along with it on board the grande spectacular awesome fisherman dave choate and the choder had a yellowfin and a bluefin. The Grande had 10 bluefin tuna and 30 yellowfin tuna. Choate said, man, it is so awesome to fly line a bait and get bit on a tuna as opposed to that deep water stuff. Man, there is something really special about that, Dave. Know exactly what you are talking about. So some really good fishing going on down there in that neck of the woods. You definitely want to have some 25-pound fluorocarbon, but you also want to have some heavier stuff. They mix in terms of size. The tuna that we're seeing, there's some fish that are in that 15-pound class, and then there's some much bigger fish. And depending on the intensity of the bite and the size of the fish, you're going to have to switch your tackle up. And if you're not quite sure how to do that, that's where a great crew member like they have on the Grande, the Liberty, the San Diego, basically all the San Diego base boats and many of the LA Orange County base boats. Most of those guys are there to help you make friends with a crew member when you walk on board. And if you're not sure, just look at them and say, hey, 25, 40, what, what do you suggest? And they'll tell you and they'll be right because they're there. They know they've been there every single day. You can combine all of that, however, with choosing a really good hot bait changing that bait regularly and it seems like a belly hook bait has been working really really well for most of the guys so some really great fishing down there we're seeing more yellow fans are going to push in there also we haven't seen huge scores on that here recently but we know from commercial sources down the Baja coast that there's a lot more YFT coming and waters are starting to warm up now we're starting to see water temps in the 70 degree range in some parts of southern California which means you can kiss my albacore prediction 
goodbye, almost. Out on the Outer Banks, we still have cool enough water for it to happen. And we've got a lot of guys out there fishing, so it could still happen, but I am starting to lose faith and I'm getting ready to break into tears in front of you all. So, so really good fishing. Now the nighttime bite, and I'm talking in general, whether you're fishing out of LA Orange County Base Landings or you're fishing out of San Diego, most of the time it's been a three to 400 gram jig. I don't think color matters at all. Some of you do, go for it. And in terms of the type of jig, hell, these things bite a torpedo sinker. So let's be realistic about this. Daiwa SK jigs have been really, really successful. I know the guys on the Pegasus, we're telling me the Katy Perry rip rollers have been really, really successful. I think more important than all of that is having proper tackle, at least 100 pound. I like 130, 200 pound leaders. I wouldn't go any less than that. You can, but I wouldn't 200. And when the captain says drop, you drop immediately and you get your jig to where the fish are. And to be able to do that, you need to know the depth of your lure. You do that with metered line, line that changes color every 100 feet. You've got to have that. Iser line makes it. You can talk to Sam over at Island Fishing Tackle or any one of your local tackle guys in San Diego, wherever. Talk to those guys. They'll help you through the process. That's another thing. Our local tackle stores in SoCal are just loaded with experts who will point you in the right direction. And I don't know of a single tackle store that won't do that. So local tackle guys, whoever your favorite is, go see them. They're going to help you out. Greg Bailey. Devon Graham, they were on the limits and they both had limits of blue fan tuna. They said it was absolutely fantastic on board the Amigo out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California. That blue fin yellowtail, giant bonita, like 10 to 15 pound bonita. Now, I talked to a couple of guys, including Chef Jason from the Amigo last night when we were goofing off on the docks after doing tackle shop confessions with Sam De La Torre. And Jason said, Phil, these things, these bluefin, these giant like 100, 200 pound bluefin, they're jumping out of the water 50 at a time. You look out there and you go, am I looking at a pod of porpoise or is it? No, that's bluefin. What the? And that's exactly what they are seeing out there. Now, let's get it straight in terms of the size of fish. They're seeing a lot of that big fish and catching some of it. Most of the fish is the smaller grade, anywhere from eight pounds, 10 pounds like that up to 40 pounds, 50 pounds, like that. But those big ones are around, and as you saw in the lead in on the Thunderbird, there are some giant BFT around, which presents a certain dilemma for you all, and that is what to fish with. So you've got to fish with the heaviest line you can and get a bite, understand? So sometimes the fish are finicky, you've got to go down to the 25. In most cases, Jason said, 25 pound is what you want to be using. You hook a big one though and you are screwed, but you're gonna get a bite on that 25. Now, if you're on a trip and the intensity of the bite, everybody's getting bit, everybody's just slammed, then you can go to the heavier stuff. 25 pound floral, you must fish floral, abrasion resistant, and it gets more bites. We like Opsin fluorocarbon, www.opsinusa.com. Put in FA at checkout and owner Greg Brown's gonna send you a free gift. So once again, we are seeing tremendous fishing. Amigo and the boys are out on the banks and they are doing really well and they're seeing so much. Fish. I was talking to deckhand Nick Hawkins. He said, Phil, he's a deckhand on the Amigo. Talking to Mark Sonata also. There's so much to I've, I've never seen this amount of bluefin. Miles and miles and miles of bluefin tuna. And as I told you on the lead yet, there's BFT all over the place, all the way up to San Francisco and north of there also, but there's a huge biomass out on Tanner and Cortez Bank right now, and it is looking like things could get absolutely insane. So remember, you gotta vary your tactic. You're gonna have to have some of that 25 pound, but you're also gonna be fly lining 40, 50, 60, and then sinker fishing, sometimes with 80. You definitely need all of that, and you need those two-speed reels for fishing at night. Really some great fishing. There's yellows out there also. It's magnificent right now. If you get the chance to jump on a trip, by all means do it. And don't forget our August 15th trip is gonna book up and you want to be on that one. Also, we've got a few more trips on the Amigo that I've held some spot on. Two day trips in September, October. I've held like four spots for new people that have come onto the channel as we near 10,000 subscribers. So I'll be releasing those dates shortly. And also, 
we're going to add a trip on the El Patron out of beautiful 22nd Street landing in San Pedro. That's going to be September the 15th. It'll leave at 6 in the morning, come back at 6 at night. I'll have all those details shortly for you all, meaning in the next couple of days, I will be releasing that to you. Incidentally, you want to get in on this bike. The El Patron has a little bit of room on Sunday on a day and a half trip, leaving from 22nd Street Landing. Now's your chance to fish that boat. It's fast. It's beautiful. Great crew. Leaving Sunday, day and a half trip out of 22nd Street Landing. 310-832-8304. Here's your chance to get on board that one. So some great fishing. Also, as we mentioned up in the Channel Islands, there are some 805 bluefin tuna. 805, of course, a reference to the area code up there. 805, and, you know, it's not all that often, historically speaking, that we're catching big tuna up there. David Romero caught some really nice fish. They've had fish on the Endeavor, the Aloha Spirit, and several other boats, and they're seeing good signal up there in that neck of the woods. That is great news for them. So, man, I'll tell you, you think you're going barracuda fishing at the islands up there and you run into a foam or a bluefin tuna. If you've got heavy tackle, you're definitely going to want to bring that along with you also. Taking a look up and down our coast, we continue to see really good local bass fishing. It's so good to see the calicos biting down there out of San Diego so well. Oceanside's got great local fishing. Dana Wharf, we're seeing quite a bit of fish as we move you up the coast, get you here to the Long Beach San Pedro area. There is still some really good barracuda hits and some great sand bass, and those are migratory sand bass. Clouds of fish that show up in the middle of nowhere. You find them and they bite. It's really like the old days right now. Now, it's not wide open every single time, but it has been pretty darn good. And you saw Michael Limon, maybe you didn't know it was him, but him and his grandpa are in the Enterprise this morning out of Pier Point Landing in Long Beach. They should be about fishing right about now. They were loading up, and that is good news. Freelance out of Davies Locker in Newport Beach with good barracuda and bass fishing. Yesterday, nothing wrong with that. City of Long Beach had over 100 barracuda and 40 bass to go along for their day. The Victory Long Beach for fishing, 100 plus sand bass, 130 barracuda. Good fishing on the Monte Carlo. The native sun was not out yesterday, but they've had some really outstanding fishing here on sand bass, calico bass, and barracuda. Barracuda surface iron is the way you want to go. I love a taddy C with a single hook. So easy to release those things. There's been times when they didn't bite the surface iron that well and they were biting bait or they were biting like plastics or hookup type jigs. So you do have to have a little different tackle to make that happen for you. But there's really been some outstanding fishing, no question about it. And we love seeing that. One thing I can tell you, they're choosing a good hot bait, changing that bait regularly and fishing really light line like 12, 15 pound, you will smoke everybody standing next to you if you do that. So keep that in mind. Redondo, up in that deck of the woods, they had on the Redondo special, a bunch of calico bass they released, good rock fishing, Marina Del Rey, excellent rock fishing going on there. So that continues very, very well. Also up in the Channel Islands, we mentioned the tuna, but there's sand bass and barracuda and calico bass, the island spirit. Out of Ventura Harbor, sword fishing's been all over that with an occasional halibut. Also up there in Santa Barbara, we have seen the stardust with 16 lingcod and wide open rockfish and whitefish and all of that stuff out of Santa Barbara. Their boats have been doing quite well on the bottom grabbers. And man, I love to fish for that stuff. That's fun. Ray Johnson was out and he was on his private boat and he said, man, this is like heaven. Halibut are biting. They're biting the plastics with his buddy Justin Teamer. And they had a spectacular day also in the surf. We are now starting to see the Corvina turn on. Of course, they love to bite on sand crabs, or you can dig up sandworms. That works really, really well. Throw a chrome crocodile here in the surf, and you're likely to catch something like a yellowfin croaker, perhaps a halibut. That's very good. There's a little bit of spotfin croaker around. Spotfin do not like to bite jigs all that often. Rarely, they're going to be on the bait. So there's some great surf fishing opportunities here for you also. All right, my friends, I don't know what to tell you other than it's a gorgeous day. You guys have reached your hands across the border to help people in Cedros. I have a whole bunch of medical supplies and a lot more clothing that after summertime, I'm going to take to Tecate, Tijuana, Rosarito, and Ensenada. We'll be helping the folks there also. And that is all because of your kindness and generosity. There are so many of you to thank, and I really can't thank you 
enough. I really deeply appreciate it. Love to see outdoorsmen, fishermen, and women helping others. It says a lot about you. It makes me very, very proud to have so many great people surrounding Freedman Adventures. It means a lot. All right. Have a great day. It's gorgeous out. I'll see you at the Orange County Fair all week long, Wednesday through Sunday. I'll be in Baja Blues. Drop by and say hello. I'm there in the evening times, usually starting around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. In the meantime, you know what I'd love to do. I would love to see you really, really soon. Have a great day, my friends.